When did it start to become obvious that you had like a real serious amount of talent for football? And like, and, and did people start to really like push you into the right direction? And what was that whole process like? I, I go back to Pop Warner, bro. Exactly where I'm telling you at right now. Like when I was playing for Inglewood Pop Warner, like I was one of the best on my teams, bro. Like I literally was one of the fastest, was one of the smallest, but like I was always one of the best players, bro. So like for me, I kind of always knew I was good, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, like. Every team I always played on, I was one of the best. So, so like it was just like shit, nigga. We we had good teams, nigga. And D Jack was always one of the fastest and the best ones on the team. So why not Englewood High School, Crenshaw <laughs> High School? <laughs> That's um, a good question. You know, uh out the city, I'm just gonna say like what is it, Dorsey? Englewood, Crenshaw, Westchester. Englewood, Westchester. No, but what I'm saying that was good in football. Westchester was good. At that time? Yeah, they were straight. Oh, uh, yeah. See, I, I I just know that their basketball program Hell was prestigious. So it was, yeah. it, it, you know. Mm -hmm. So what? how did y'all come up with Long Beach? Well, honestly, bro, my pops, he was like, he he, he was like a damn near my agent at this time, bro. Because, like, he was shopping me around all these different teams. We, we had we had uh, 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 Crenshaw, Venice, um, Westchester. And uh, what 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 other school am I missing? What other school was good around then? Taft. Taft. We had we had all them schools, but my pops had a relationship with uh with my old with uh with the coach. Uh -huh. And my older brother one time was like, we gonna go out to Polly and we gonna really like you know sit down and holler at him. Because Polly was a powerhouse. Polly, I just like how did you come up? Polly with? was a powerhouse, and I think honestly, bro, Polly was the best move I ever did, bro. Because as a young at, at a young age, bro, and how I was so good, like. Going to Crenshaw, going to Westchester, going to Van, it would have been cool, but why not go to the best of the best, bro? Long Beach Poly is one of the best high schools to ever put people into the NFL, bro. Willie McGinnis, Snoop Dogg, Cameron Diaz, you know, and I'm just saying just celebrities and stars, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, it was like once Pops took me out there, we met with the coach, and I'm seeing like my freshman year, bro, was uh, 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 Herschel Dennis, Mercedes Lewis, yeah. Mayor Wright. Darnell Bing, like all these dudes went to SC, bro. It was like five, six scholarships they gave to SC. And I'm like, I'm seeing as a as a ninth grader, I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, it's on. What bro. was your quarterback name? Uh, uh Brandon Brooks, yeah. Leon Jackson, Leon, like Leon, Leon Jackson. Because he went to Beverly Hills. Yeah, he went he to Beverly first. Exactly. I lived on Somerset Jefferson right across from so me. So you know, bro. Like, yeah. yeah, so so my thing, bro, was like just putting myself in the best position, bro, to like see Polly was one of them schools where like you got all types of scouts coming. College scouts, you know what I'm saying? So, like, just to look and to be able to, like, know, like, for sure, if I go ball, I'm for sure going to get a good scholarship and good good teams to come, like, fuck with me type shit. So that was my thinking, bro. Yeah. So, uh, okay, like, through high school, were you thinking, like, oh, I'm at the level where I might really be in the NFL one day? Or are you still kind of being humble about it? Because you're obviously coming from a background where – you know, this is not. It's not like you're you're having like the elite trainers and crazy money behind you from a young age. It's like, yeah. were, how? When did you start to become confident that like, oh shit, I could really do this? He still had the trainers though. Me, I did yeah, have. I see, 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 Adam, Adam got a. You got a really yeah. like. I, I ain't gonna say it like that, but like, just if you go look up, bro. Like, I got documents. I got like, you know, a lot of shit out there on me, bro. So like. If, if not too busy in your time and your day, bro, if it cares you, bro, like, really go look at my story, bro. But, like, my dad really implemented, like, a team around me, bro. Really? So, as a young kid, I was always advanced. That's why I was always so good, bro, and head, and head of the game. Because, for one, I always played with older cats. So, like, if I was eight, I was playing with the 10-year-olds. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's growing up. So, like, I was always advanced. And, you know, I just had to get on my son the other day. He out there playing versus a 10-year-old. And I'm like, bro, this is going to make you better. Yeah. Like, you don't understand. You crying. He hot. He ready to scribe and all that. I'm like, nigga, that, I'm looking at him as, nigga, that's me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that energy, field, you got to put yeah. it into the field, bro. Yeah. But so for me, it was like I always, like, had that team around me that always advanced me, bro. My older brother made it to the NFL, but he, was like, made it on a practice squad. So, like, I used to always tell him, like, nigga, you gonna, I'm going to make it and be way sicker than you ever was, nigga. Because, yeah. like, all y'all trained me. Like, yeah. I got, like, four, five, I got... My, my my older brother Travis Clark, Derek Davis, and, and Irvin Booker, and then Byron Jackson. They all trained me. And then Coach uh, Coach uh, Kablian was my track coach. I had the best of both worlds, bro. Yeah, there yeah. was and, and a lot of people really don't it, give me the it, credit, it, it, bro, crazy. because they just see me and they just like, oh, he's just talented, bro. But they don't really know the work I already put in, bro. Mm -hmm. Like Saturday, Sunday, instead of hanging out, going doing shit in the hood, bro. I'm really training. You feel what I'm saying? I had fun. We all went out and did you know the the, the, the player shit, but like at the end of the day, bro, like. 
what separated me, bro, and a lot of a lot of my homies I grew up with, and, I, and I'm sure you know, me too. Shit, Brick, Brick could tell you, but like, bro, we all wanted to go to the league. Mm. Like every every one of my homies or every one of my teammates that I played with, bro, legitimately could have made it to the league. Sure. But the difference was the separating me from them. Like I literally stayed on that straight narrow road, bro. Like I like I maybe you know steered off here and there, but like it was probably just like a little foot or a, a, a pinky. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like all the way off, and I had to figure it out, like. I was always one of them dudes where I was like, I would I would try to bend the rules, but I'ma still stay on my point. You know what I'm saying? So like for me, I just was dedicated, bro. And I already knew what I wanted to do at a young age, bro. That's crazy. Were you was there ever times where you kind of strayed from that path or were you just yeah, like a hundred percent focused on Fuck that? No, nigga, I strayed from that path, nigga. Plenty of times. <laughs> well, he came out and started smoking weed. Right. That's the first fuck right. up. You, you know what I mean? Last fuck up, like, you know what I mean? Like Bro, it's it's But that's know, once you're in the league. He right? just this is the thing. Man, hell no. God's I was playing for him yeah. was going to the league. And you can't take that away because the people he used to come out with, like his best friend, that's what I was saying, like like, like runner, bro. Cuz could not get a break. Yeah, that no. nigga was in jail every time he got out of jail since we was 13, 14 years old. Right or wrong? Hell yeah. All the, man, he just stopped going to jail. Just that's why I'm happy as fuck for my first, bro. first like two year stretch, three year stretch. Cuz right? loved you. I used to, he used to go to jail so much, I'm like, my nigga, like, do you love jail, bro? So, like, I ain't never seen nobody that love jail. <laughs> yeah, so, like, him dibbling and dabbling, like, and really staying focused, like, that's very hard because I was a dog on the court, like, a super. Like, I'm going to Mississippi to play at basketball prep school, all that, at 5'8", I'm dunking on shit, all of that. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, my parents was hustlers. They didn't play sports. Mm. So while they out hustling, when I go to the street, it's not that bad long as I ain't fucking up. Then the, it ain't that bad until I ain't fucking up turned into me trying to take another inch. Me try, now I got blick. Now I'm getting caught with blick. You know what I'm saying? Let, 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 let me ask you this, though, bro, because I feel like you really you really know me, bro. So, like, what, what, what you feel like separate me or what you feel like was the reason I already made it, bro? Because you seen me from afar or work close, bro. We done been around. That's what like, I said. So, like, what you really so, think it is, bro? Like... The athleticism, though, bro. Mm -hmm. The uh, speed, I feel like it had to be a mental path that you was on. Because as kids, right. when I when when I was coming up to Berkeley, even then, like, another one of your teammates was fucking off. Mm -hmm. He's still a fuck up. Sure. He, he's, his behavior is crazy. Right. We was fucking with him, though. Mm -hmm. I don't want to even bash my boy because he out the league or whatever, but... You know, Beast Mode. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We used to go fuck with Beast Crazy. Mode, and he still used to be in the streets, but he, you go up there, you give him the ends, whatever. He about to go work out, though. I'm going to holler at y'all when I'm done working out, because we're going to go smoke. You get what I'm saying? Shit like that. You already, you already know, bro. So he had a stronger head. You had a stronger head from the beginning, and that's why you still, in the football game, you don't stay in the league as long as you did, bro. Mm -hmm. You even did it right there. I had, you can name how many wide receivers stayed there for, what, 15 years? Yeah, hell yeah. Come on, bro. 